What is going on guys? So today we are going to be replacing a battery in my E36. A couple of days ago I went to fire it up in the morning and it kind of slow cranked pretty hard. And today I went to start it up and it didn't even click. The lights just dimmed and that was it. So the battery I have in there is on its way out. Once I got the car fired up and running, it was fine. It was fine for the rest of the day. But on a cold morning and a cold start, the battery in there just doesn't have enough juice. I don't know if it's not holding a charge or whatever it is. We're going to be replacing it with this Bosch unit that I picked up today. Tools we will be using. Quarter inch driver, 13 millimeter socket. That is for removing the battery terminals. You could also use a 13 millimeter box and wrench as a substitute for the 13 mil and the driver. If your battery has a tie down like mine does, you will need a 10 millimeter socket and I also needed to use a small extension for that. So a 3 8 driver and a deep well 10 millimeter will probably get the job done just as well. So the battery is located in the trunk. Right there for those of you guys who do not know. If you have your entire trunk in the car, it's basically underneath this little plate here. So we're just going to stick our finger in there, pop that bad boy up. And there's our battery on the passenger side. So to start, we need to first disconnect the battery. Now, if you guys are ever going to be disconnecting your battery, either just to have the car off, to have it not drain, or to replace the battery or remove the battery, you always disconnect the negative side first. Now this isn't really a super big issue, it's more of a precaution if you have the trunk lining and all the interior bits in there, but in this case, I don't have any of that stuff there. So the last thing I wanna do is be swinging this wrench on the positive side and if I accidentally touch a part of the body panel or ground it that's a circuit and it's gonna have some pretty big issues and you're gonna learn pretty quickly that that's not the right way to do it so especially if you have your trunk gutted always disconnect the negative side first so these guys are 13 millimeters so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative of the battery and whenever I take these off I like to put the ground, I like to like wrap it around in a towel and sort of move it out of the way where it's not going to contact. In case it decides to come spring up back into its place, it's not going to make a connection. So after that we're going to go after the positive side. And still, even with it disconnected, you should be cautious not to touch anything metal with the wrench because you might cause a little bit of an arc there's still some surface charge in the system and you might blow a fuse I see that happen so we're gonna take that off I'm also gonna wrap him up and sort of set him off to the side where he's not gonna be an issue now I still wouldn't lay that on anything metal so now the battery is disconnected electrically on some E36s apparently there are some vent tubes if you do have a vent tube it's either gonna be right here or right here there's probably gonna be a little plastic hose to it so just pull that out Apparently they're supposed to have a vent tube. All three of the E36s that I have have never had a vent tube. So I'm not super worried about that. But if you do have a vent tube, it's going to be on one of the sides here and you just need to pop that guy out and pop him into the new battery. Alright, so next up we have to disconnect the battery tie down. Uh, for some reason, two out of the three E36s that I've had have not had a battery tie down, but this one does. So if you have a tie down, you do need to remove it in order to get the battery out. So this this is the tie down that I'm talking about. It's basically a long bolt and if you'll see at the bottom there's a little metal plate that's sort of holding the bracket into place. That guy is a 10 millimeter. Once you get him off you can unthread him by hand. And this is going to be on the back side of the battery towards the trunk of the car, towards the tail light. That'll come up. And then we can get our little plate out of here. And now this big boy is ready to come out. Now once I have the batteries out, I always kind of like to do a side-by-side -side comparison just to make sure that the size are correct and also to check the cold cranking amps. So if you look on a battery, it'll say CCA. That stands for cold cranking amps. So cold cranking amps is just about the amperage that the battery will produce. So this one is at 750. And if we look at the replacement unit, so CCA on the replacement unit is about 730. So that's a little bit less. That's 20 cold cranking amps less than this guy, but I'm not super concerned about that. 
If you get a replacement battery and it is significantly smaller and say the cold cranking amps is only like 500 or 450, then you might run into issues with that and that might not be the correct battery. But I always sort of like to do a side by side. Now, as far as mounting these guys go, if you look in the trunk, it's a little bit rusty, huh? That's weird. But if you'll notice those two little metal things sticking up, you'll notice how they kind of come out and then up. So that little indent in there, this part of the battery on the bottom corner needs to sort of sit in that. So it's going to kind of like hug it like that just to secure it on this side. And then our battery tie down plate is going to come in like that and sort of hold the battery all together. So if you put your battery in and it's kind of sitting up at an angle or it's not sitting in them properly, slide it this way, it should drop down and then slide it back into that little spot there. So I always like to take the positive side when I'm going in and I'll kind of take the battery and dip it in like that just to get it in the little place. Make sure you don't squish your ground line. So we'll kind of get it dipped in. Put it into a spot like that. Another thing is I'll typically leave the plastic caps on the battery until I'm about to put the lines on. So now that, that guy's in, we can go after our little mounting plate. You can see the little threaded hole. So that threaded hole on the left side there is where that little plate screws into. So I'm going to go after that plate now. And the plate goes like this. So this divot up goes towards the battery. So I'm going to put my bolt through that and then we'll go thread it in. Get him snug. You don't have to tighten the crap out of it, just make sure it's snug. Alright, so just like we disconnected the negative first, we're going to connect the negative last. So we're going to connect the positive cable first, and then we'll go after the negative. So I'm going to pull the little plastic cap off to get our big positive cable on. Get him nice and tight. Alright. And now we're going to go after our negative. So I'm going to peel the plastic cap off that one. And to reconnect that. And I'll get him tightened down. Boom. So the battery is back in. Another thing to note. I haven't really seen any corrosion on the battery terminals on E36s simply because the battery is in the trunk and not in the engine bay. It's not really as exposed to the elements as other cars are. But if you have a little bit of battery corrosion, be it like white kind of like fizzy powder or blue fizzy powder, before you put the battery back in, take a little wire brush and just sort of scrub all that stuff off as best you can off the battery terminals to prevent it from causing an issue. Battery corrosion like that can lead to some pretty weird issues such as slow cranking or starting even if the battery is new. If it's corroded and it's causing resistance and it's not getting as much power out of the battery as it should, because there's resistance in the wires, because there's corrosion, you guys do need to clean that off. So aside from that, that's about it. The battery is replaced. And with these little caps that you get from the new battery, I like to throw them on the old battery just in case the battery decides to roll over or something like that when you're transporting it just to be safe. So don't throw those little caps away. Throw them on the old battery just as a safety precaution. Once that's done, if you have your little plastic trim piece, slap that back on there. I don't have mine, so I'm not going to worry about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I'll see you guys later.